Everyone asks for a flue brush, but if you've ever used a flue brush, you know that it does not a whole lot to clean the flues. It knocks off some of the powdery stuff from the bottom of the flues and it might make you feel kind of good, but the powdery stuff is back on the flues within like a minute of the time you light a fire in it. So it's like the real soot buildup that doesn't really come off of the brush at all, no matter what. And brushes are hard work. They're hard to push in. They're hard to move back and forth. Um, and in the end, all you do is knock off that fluffy crap. So uh, what we have is a scraper and it's a prototype. It's not meant to impress you by its looks, um, but it, it goes into the flue. You drive forward toward the back of the arch, actually. You push toward the back of the arch, and on the back stroke, it cleanly scrapes the flues off. It's a stainless steel scraper. Um, so I think we should see if that camera can focus well enough into this dirty evaporator, and I'll, I'll show you how it scrapes the, the soot off. I'm ready. Man, one stroke is really what does it. It gets it clean. I can't believe how much is coming out of there. Yeah, and, and keep in mind, the backstroke is its, is its second stroke. I mean, the backstroke is what does the scraping, but all the soot is already knocking off more than a brush ever could on the first stroke. Yeah, I mean, all, all the soot is being knocked off better on the first stroke than a brush ever could do. Do you care that that's all going on your insulation? Nope. It's just incredible how much comes off of there uh, compared to brushing, you know? I can't believe how much is coming out. Like, I never really, I was always like, yeah, you don't really need a flu brush. Yeah, and a brush really doesn't do much. This stuff that's coming off is hard, hard soot. This isn't just the powdery, the powdery stuff that makes you feel kind of good about doing your flues, you know? So there's where we're going to have to be careful on these very outer ones. Oh, because of the blanket? Yeah. Well, that's the nice thing about this, um, this pole, too, like, you're able to get it up in there, it doesn't seem like oh, it's, it's not gonna touching. pop out. Yeah, the beautiful, the beautiful thing is it's not touching the, uh, the insulation underneath. So, that does it. That's pretty cool, Jim. Yeah. Nice work. So, would you say this is what it boils down to? This is what it boils down to. Oh, so does everybody have a light in their firebox like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Mine didn't come with that. If you do, get it out. 